welcome back to the channel and I'm back sharing with you all what I got from Ulta and what I picked up from Forever 21. So let's start off with Ulta. So let me show you all what I got. So I told myself that I'm not going to be buying. I'm going to be on a low buy with eyeshadow palettes. And if I receive them in my boxy charm, I'm going to pass them on to you guys for giveaways. Just because I would like to get through the palettes that I have and use them up as much as I can. And so I really did not want to miss out on the limited edition from the Mickey and Friends Truth Be Told. So I picked up their mirror. So it looks like. And if you guys know, by now I am becoming a little hoarder for mirrors. And I really like them. So they had brushes, eyeshadow palettes, a mini eyeshadow palette, and the mirror. And the mirror? Yeah, yeah. I'm so happy that I picked it up because it is so pretty. Look at it. This is what the mirror looks like. It's very pretty. I'm just so happy that I picked it up. I definitely wanted a item from their collection priced at $18 and it was only $9 by Morphe so the downside is that it doesn't have you know a little hole right here to hang it because I have them hanged here on the wall so another one that actually did not have a hole for it was another mirror that I have here on the side but hubby got his drill and then he made a hole so let me show you guys what it looks like now this one actually did not have a hole and now it does so hello there it is and so I'm gonna tell him to do the same for this one that way I could go ahead and hang it on the wall satin scrunchie set and I am actually wearing one right now because lately with me coloring my hair my hair has been falling off it has been breaking and I do not want to cut it I want to let it grow so it comes with five scrunchies and I am done wearing the tiny elastics is actually about eight dollars for a set of five and that's what they look like they have an elastic inside and they're very soft and satiny that way it doesn't tug or damage your hair and what it claims to do is says for all hair types and textures guides to your hair without snagging creaseless alternative to traditional elastic protecting your hair from breakage and thinning can be used day or night and then I also picked up a satin sleep beanie and it saves your style while you sleep high quality lining creates a luxurious friction free barrier for all hair types helps to reduce tangles breakage and hair thinning stylish design easy to wear day or night and it comes with one in the packet and this was actually 22 dollars so it was pretty pricey in my opinion but you know what at the end of the day i already paid way more for my hair so why not actually take care of it you know so this is what it looks like in the outside and then in the inside the material is satin as you can see it's very shiny and so i'm going to be wearing it at night because i do notice that i see hair um on my pillow of course with tugging and all of that moving around tossing and turning and i'm also thinking about picking up a satin pillowcase and hopefully you do that very soon because I know it helps also with your skin something about that it helps your skin and it helps reduce wrinkles I don't know how much of that is true but if you guys know definitely let me know in the comments down below there's a carousel right here and it's not spinning like it stops halfway and it just stops so if you guys actually have this let me know in the comments down below the reason that I wanted this was because I wanted to add everything that I use the day of that way when I go ahead and you know I'll post a picture on Instagram or put a video then I could share with you on the comments down below or also on an Instagram post and share with you all what bronzer I used or what brushes if you guys have a question on what face powder what eyeshadow palette because I completely forget I have brain fog all the time and well what lashes did I use what eyeliner and whatnot so like that I could keep it here and then usually because usually when my my desktop right here when my desk is a mess I just grab everything and put it away but like that I'll put it away in here and everything else that I needs to be put away will be put away except the makeup right so 
I have the receipt. I didn't want to return it just because I didn't want it to end up in the trash. So I'm still debating if I should just return it or keep it. I might just keep it because I don't even need it spinning anyways, right? Okay, so actually, I'm very disappointed because I didn't buy anything clothing wise. Why? Because they don't carry plus sizes in their store anymore. And the plus size that they have online is either not my style or cropped. Everything I do like is crop t-shirts, crop sh sweaters, like really? I mean, <sighs> Forever 21, what are you doing? Like seriously, why are they putting so many, like everything, if you go to Forever 21 right now and you go click on curvy and plus size, almost everything they have on there is cropped. And the only things that they do have that is like full length is not my style and it's not even attractive, so. Okay, so what I picked up from Forever 21 in store were nothing but practically foot masks. So, I actually tried to foot mask for the first time ever recently, a couple days ago. So, I actually tried this one right here with Hubby. And this one is actually Intensive Healing Foot Mask. And it says, Uni Design Soft Type Mask Repairs Rough Dry Feet and Heels, Apple Extract, Shea Butter. And we definitely enjoyed it. I give it like a three out of five just because i feel like it did something but i didn't see a drastic change i did feel like it definitely made my feet softer and they actually look pretty hydrated today as well but i cannot wait to see the rest of them this is actually 3.99 and i was thinking they're pricey but i looked online and other stores and that's how much they go up to even six to seven dollars each so the next one that I got, it's an exfoliating foot mask. And this one actually says that in two weeks, it will start peeling. It says perfectly peel away colors and dead skin in just two weeks. So I'm excited but scared <laughs> at the same time. So this is what it looks like. And I actually got four of those for me and hubby as well. So two for him, two for me. And we have another set all about moisturizing foot mask. I'm really excited to try these. And I got one for him and myself. And these were pretty pricey out of the bunch. These were $4.99. The rest were $3.99. So we are definitely stocked. And I cannot wait to make a little drawer for our skincare and night routines. I want to get really into skincare just because hubby is definitely having a lot of stress at work. And I want to make sure that he has, even if it's the smallest moment of just like self-care, you know, I got one for him and myself because he definitely is having really bad under eye bags and circles and he's really stressed out. So let's take care of our men and ourselves overall. So right here we have the eye masks and one's for him and one's for me. We put them in the freezer and we relax. And <laughs> the next thing that I have here is a hair towel. Also, I want to take care of my hair. I want to stop like you know tugging it around in the towel i usually just you know do a little shake and then brush it through with leave-in conditioner and let it air dry but since it's actually really cold right now my hair gets really cold and i don't want to be stepping outside so i want to have it dry as quick as possible if i need to run errands so the next thing that i have right here is the head massager and this was $2.99 and then the head wrap was $5.99. The hair towel was $5.99. And the head massager, $2.99. These are so cute. These were $2.99. I put them on baby girl's hair and she was not having it. <laughs> I got myself some heart-shaped earrings. Let me show y'all what they look like. They're very cute. And these right here were $6.99. Very cute earrings, and they're also very, very big, very pretty. Got some elastics for her hair, and these were two ninety nine right here. And then I got myself a blotting paper, and this was two ninety nine as well. Let's go go ahead and see if it works. It's it has a strawberry scent. It smells a little bit perfumey, so I'm oily in the forehead. Let's go ahead and see if it works. It definitely soaked up the oil for sure. 
really, really like these blotting papers. I'm going to go back and purchase some more. I'm like $65 where? <laughs> the foot masks definitely added up quickly. Oh, and these were $2.99. So they actually have some at Dollar Tree, but the Dollar Tree ones are like half the size. They're like very tiny. And I like these because it's definitely going to get like the overall from the top of your eye all the way to the very bottom and the ones from dollar tree are like half the size are very tiny in my opinion ulta and forever 21 let me know in the comments down below if you have tried the foot mask and there's any that you recommend definitely let me know in the comments down below because before the foot masks all i did was put coconut oil on my feet coconut oil is a very very good antifungal and hydrating for your feet so I really, really like coconut oil. So the foot masks, I'm loving. I cannot wait to try more. Let me know what else should I add for my little skincare and spa routine. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end of this video, I truly appreciate it. And hopefully around this time, I'll be having a giveaway going on in two videos. If I do, I'll leave the information down below and I'll put the thumbnails on the screen. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Until next time.